We have a lot of other things to cover here, but I look to Dr. Sherwood. Are we uh, moving? Joe Biden, wake up. Joe Biden, wake up. 9-11. One of the things that, that, that I strongly believe is... Joe Biden, wake up. I should probably go home. I'm tired. Joe Biden, wake up. Joe. 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 I'm tired. Joe Biden. What's happening? Joe Biden. What's happening? Joe. Joe. Welcome back to Garfinomics, the world's best official, unofficial Garfield-based economics and politics podcast. I'm your host. Today is June 4th, 2023, and I'm looking at a Garfield comic here. We've got a Sunday spread, uh, so quite a long one. I just want to go over this really quickly. I think it's very important that we get back to our roots on this show. Uh, So we've got Little Garfield, looking at a butterfly, very cute little title. Then we have Odie, just kind of standing there, very Odie-like. Then in the next panel, we have Garfield walking up to Odie, and he says, I wonder where Odie is. In the next panel, he's looking around. Odie's kind of waving his arms. He's like, I'm right here, I'm right here. And Garfield's like, I've looked everywhere. In the next panel, Garfield thinks, is he hiding? Odie is dumbfounded. He is just looking at us, the reader. In the next panel, Garfield is sort of making a movement with his arms, sort of making a, maybe a circular movement, I don't know, and saying, or could he have somehow become invisible, referring to Odie. Now in the next panel, Garfield is walking away pretty... <laughs> Pretty slyly, he's got a little trick he's, he's just played. Odie's thinking to himself, hmm, hmm. And in the next panel, Odie is sticking out his tongue, making a crazy face at John. Um, and John is just saying, I can see you. So <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty good. Uh, tricking Odie into thinking that, uh, you know, he's invisible. He can't be seen. Um, But actually, he can be seen, and uh, much in the same way that Odie can be seen, so can all of our beautiful LGBTQA plus listeners. Uh, Happy Pride Month. Happy start to Pride Month. I see you. Uh, We see you and we hear you here on the Garfinomics podcast. Um, What we don't see uh, and what was never seen is... uh, my partner walking in on me, uh, wearing the Spider-Man uh, costume again, uh, flexing my muscles in the bathroom mirror. That is not real. Um, and I've, you know, I've done sort of the logical thing. I told her that she's crazy. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not gaslighting you. You're just crazy. And you didn't see that. Um, I was not wearing the Spider-Man costume again. And flexing my muscles in the bathroom mirror again. Um, that didn't happen. And we didn't see that. But we did see and hear all of our beautiful LGBTQA plus listeners on this happy Pride Month. I think it's time that we sort of get into a little bit of a foreskin update. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, beep, 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 beep. This is another foreskin update. Uh, The last time we had one of these was uh, in 2020, kind of leading up to the presidential election. We're kind of nearing, we're getting a little close to that time again. We've got a couple of potential candidates coming up here. We've got, uh, of course, uh, Joe Biden once again, who, you know, I'm going to be honest, his um, didn't really, he didn't really have a strong foreskin restoration policy going into the election last time. And uh, we've kind of seen his record uh, over this uh, prior term. Not a, really, not a really great position on foreskin. So uh, once again, I am a little bit blackpilled, uh, as I believe 
Um, Donald Trump also is probably going to run again, and he also has not, uh, you know, made any sort of references to whether or not we will uh, break into the secret CIA facility where they keep all of our foreskins locked in drawers in filing cabinets. And so that's that's a little bit of a bummer, but we do have some uh, potential, you know, new, interesting uh, people leading up here. Um, I've been, been seeing things from uh, that uh, that Florida uh, weirdo guy. What's his name? Ron uh, Ron DeSantis, something like that. Yeah, he actually he has a very regressive uh, foreskin policy. I don't really don't really know about him. Um, he actually wants to circumcise us even more. He wants to do it to us a second time, folks. So I'm not very happy about his bid whatsoever. Um, and then we've got an interesting, uh, you know, an interesting party. Marianne Williamson, uh, our classic orb mommy from last time around. You know, I really don't know where she stands on the whole uh, restoring our foreskins thing, but I, you know what, she's kind of giving, she's been kind of hinting at it, uh, dropping little clues here and there. So I'm a little, I'm a little hopeful for her bid. Um, we'll see because if she pulls through and she gives us, uh, you know, sort of a, a definitive step-by-step -step, uh, policy and guideline through her administration to uh, getting us our, our precious foreskins back, then, uh, you know, sign me up. You know, sign me up on the Williamson uh, wagon. What else have we seen? What else have we seen that wants to be unseen? It appears that uh, Jimmy Fallon, uh, their show, uh, has stopped paying the writers uh, for the show amidst the uh, Writers Guild strike. So no surprise there. Jimmy Fallon has always been um, the way that he is. I'm not surprised. But yeah, it's, you know what I am surprised about, though? Not really surprised, but more so just disappointed in all of our lovely shows. You know, I, I'm all, I'm, I'm one for a good strike, but, you know, my, my precious content, my, my delicious uh, media consumable content uh, has been suffering in quality because of the lack of writers or will suffer in quality. Either way, I can't tolerate it. We're usually we're pretty supportive of unions, but uh, when it comes in the way of me, um, you know, consuming my uh, precious content, uh, get back to work, you bums, start writing my delicious programs and shows uh, that I need on a daily basis. I'm under a, I, I'm 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 trying to improve the quality of this audio program again myself, and to reduce the echo, I've actually. I've taken out the trusty blanket. Once again, I've put the blanket over my head and microphone to reduce echo. And uh, it's getting, it's hot. Okay. It's like, uh, it's over 90 degrees outside. It's pretty hot in here. Um, and I, it's under this blanket. It is just, it is insanely hot. Um, I don't want to go into a blanket rant again, because I've done this before, back when we were using the blanket method uh, earlier in season one uh during the soundcloud days um so i'm not going to go too much into it but just know that i'm suffering uh for this podcast i'm suffering for you and um uh, i will i will put the blanket on okay i will don the costume not the spider-man costume which i don't wear and i do not pretend to be a friendly neighborhood superhero i do not go out into the street uh wearing a costume that i got when i was a kid that is really tight on me nowadays, like it's it sort of just comically tight. I do not put that costume on, but I am putting, I am donning the costume of the blanket for uh, audio quality purposes. So hopefully that revamps it up. Uh, let's see what else we have going on for the show. Um, we're going to get a new logo. We're going to professionalize that. And then I'm going to also, I'm going to start putting this show on, uh, like YouTube, I think, because somebody was telling me that the actual, the number one place that people listen to podcasts on, uh, isn't even Spotify. Spotify is like second, but the number one place is actually YouTube of all places. So I'm probably going to create a YouTube, uh, 
for this show and just start posting all of the episodes to it. Um, so in the future, you can enjoy this podcast from not only Spotify, not only Apple Podcasts, not only wherever else you're listening to it on, but also on YouTube as well. And maybe even uh, fucking what the fuck is Rumble, by the way? I somebody said something to me about Rumble. I like looked at it and it seemed like a weird kind of like free speech, like right wing thing or whatever. But then I started seeing like, uh, no, there's actually like normal people putting stuff on there as well. So I don't know. Please tell me what the fuck Rumble is. I'm going to look into that. I don't know what the fuck Rumble is. Um, and then also we're probably going to make a TikTok account as well, um, where, uh, you can see some beautiful videos that I will be taking, uh, of the Garfonomics, uh, process, the travels, the, uh, the research that we do that goes into this beautiful program that you listen to. And, um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be, we're going to freshen it up. We're going to be sort of, uh, you know, uh, new and with it, right? We're going to be so, um, I don't know. No, we're going to be so fucking content core. It's going to be insane. You're not even going to, you're not even going to recognize this podcast after, uh, the extensive changes I make to it. What else was I going to say? Joseph Biden, listen to me. I'm talking to you right now. I, Joseph, wake up. You need to, if you're, if they're going to make you run again, okay, I know you want to stop, right? And I know you want to um, not receive the um, Adderall injections anymore. And I know you want to lay down in comfort, surrounded by your loved ones, um, you know, perhaps uh, rein in your son a little bit and have a heart to heart with him and spend your your you know your sunset years your your twilight years uh, with your family and loved ones uh but if they do sort of make you get back up there and do the um the whole like president thing again um you really dog you really need to look into the foreskin thing i am imploring you i mean listen jack you had like four years to do something to get me my foreskin back and you didn't so um, this time around, pal, like if you want the official stamp, the official endorsement, the official Garfonomics endorsement stamp, seal of approval, whatever, you have to institute, you have to suggest the foreskin policy. OK, that is the only way that anybody's getting any sort of approval from us is if they do the foreskin policy. Ugh. Anyways, we have removed the uh Odie's garbage bin uh tier from patreon uh that was introduced during the first season because um now that i have a full-time job again uh i i am not in the position to be uh making not just one episode but two episodes a week forget about it okay banish the thought i'm deleting that tier uh, and we are only going to keep the, uh, general supporter tier that will just, you know, that's just a little support. You know what that does? That buys me a nice coffee that, um, that keeps me fully supplied with blankets. Uh, if you see me at party city, you see me at spirit Halloween, um, looking at, uh, you know, adult size, uh, Spider-Man costumes. No, you didn't. You didn't see me doing that with the Patreon money. Um, I'm spending it on research materials and uh, audio uh, production enhancement materials and not sort of, you know, counting the money that I withdrew from Patreon in cash so that I could kind of lick my fingers and uh, kind of count through it as I pace around uh, the Party City adult uh, costume section looking at the um, adult size Spider-Man costume um, and kind of, you know, weirding out most of the other customers. Sometimes I get asked to leave by the staff. Well, I would, no, actually, I don't because I don't do any of that. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I think we're going to have some new guests 
The second season, we started off with a new guest, a uh, another gaming expert uh, from uh, Scotland. And I think we're going to keep that beautiful guest in the rotation. Um, but we want more guests. We want to do more collaborations with other Garfield-based uh, creators. So if you are a creator who is uh, sort of part of the Garfverse, right? I don't want to hear about the Spider-Verse anymore um, after a heated debate with my neighbors uh, standing outside, uh, quote unquote, rescuing people from the street uh, in my, uh, my costume. I don't want to have a discussion about the Spider-Verse. I want to talk about the Garf verse, and I want to talk about uh, doing collaborations with other creators in the Garf verse because I think there's a lot of potential for uh, crossover over there. So yeah, hit me up. We still have the email Podcast at gmail.com. And so hit me up there. DM me on Twitter at Podcast. And uh, let's see if we can make a collaboration going. Um, I want to get new guests. I want to get us on other programs and I want to get this thing going because the world deserves to hear about politics and economics through the lens of Jim Davis's Garfield the Cat. Uh, speaking of which, I want to talk about the debt ceiling just a little bit. Everybody's kind of talking about the debt ceiling like the real thing. And you know what? Honestly, nobody fucking cares who gives a shit about the debt ceiling. But let me just, for the sake of enlightenment purposes, just say, essentially, in the same way that John Arbuckle has seen Odie in today's comic, I have seen the debt ceiling. And I've seen what uh, you know, the Republicans are doing. Um, typically, uh, we raise the debt ceiling uh, pretty frequently. We have for like the past, like, fuck, uh, what, like 50 years, 40 years? We raise it all the time because essentially what it is is that the, uh, the U.S. government issues out um, bonds, treasury bills, things like that. And uh, when they give out those bonds and those securities, uh, obviously, um, they're backed by the uh, full faith promise of the government to uh, pay any sort of uh, interest on them or any sort of par value at uh, the maturity date back to you. So. Essentially, the debt ceiling is um, sort of like an artificial constraint that the government sort of has on how high it can let itself go into debt. Um, you know, how, how many of these um, uh, securities they can sort of issue, these, um, these bonds and notes, uh, with the promise of paying them back. Um, because what happens if the U.S. government cannot pay those back? is uh, it essentially means that the, the, the government has sort of uh, defaulted, which um, if you're a normal like corporation issuing like corporate bonds or, or something like that, uh, a default on your bond is usually an indication of like bankruptcy or uh, just like complete like failure or falling apart of the company usually. So if you just apply that to the government, it's sort of the same idea. If the U.S. government defaults on its um, issued securities, um, not a great thing. It, it sort of would kind of give us just another clue that uh, the U.S. Uh, empire is uh, falling and in a state of decay, which we already knew, um, you know, and some people I'm almost sort of of the opinion that the U.S. empire has already died. And I think that we're kind of just living around in the corpse and it's you know, it's just beginning to rot you know what i mean but you know there are people who uh, think that it hasn't fallen yet it's just uh falling not raising the debt ceiling not paying off our debts is indicative of uh well it would be an, an indication of a, a failing government essentially uh, a dying empire right Anyways, that's a little, that's enough about the economics portion. Um, hopefully you're still awake. You're still with me. Uh, we do love, we love to see it. It's very hot under the blanket, um, but it's necessary. It's necessary for this type of quality audio content. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to start putting this uh, on YouTube 
and on I don't the fuck it rumble is it rumble is that what it's called I don't know tell me where I need to start putting this thing because actually somebody I was talking to uh, the other day said that they don't even have Spotify they don't have Apple Podcasts they don't have Spotify and I was like what where do you listen to your podcasts and they're like YouTube I was like oh. What else do I see? What else do we see, folks? What are we seeing that doesn't want to be seen? I think we've covered most of it. Um, but that really, that's it. What else do you want to hear about? T bills, bonds, maturity rates, par values, coupons. Is this is this the content you come here for? Maybe. Maybe. Do you think Garfield buys bonds? I think he does. I think um, I think somebody bought Garfield a couple of uh, U.S. bonds on his behalf, but I don't think he's bought any for himself uh, on uh, on his own. I think they were bought in his name um, and sort of granted to him. So he's. Uh, I think he is receiving the coupon payments um i think he's not really aware of it but it's just kind of sort of trickling into a bank account that he has uh without him really realizing it um but i do think he probably has a couple i got a new garfield plushie in the mail my beautiful son um i have two garfield plushies now i have one of the classic 80s ones where his eyes are sort of glazed over that my friend so lovingly gave me from her trip um, in Oklahoma, where she went to a thrift store and found it for me. And now I just realized I could buy a really fucked up looking uh, Garfield plushie from like China on Amazon for like 15 bucks. And I just got one of those and he was delivered to me vacuum sealed and um, just uh, just beautiful beautiful to behold um so i have him now as well and i have a big plans for my garfield plushies i don't really like to post i don't, I don't like to brag you know i don't like to be a, a, like you know braggadocious or anything i don't, I don't like to strut around in pride because pride is a sin uh and we don't sin on this podcast uh I, and i don't like to like flaunt right and boast with my garfield plushies and you know show them off and you know, show you how cool I am with my plushies. But I do think that going forward, I realized that what I was interpreting as potential pride and braggadocious behavior, it actually, the more I think about it, the more I'm sort of realizing um, sort of the selfishness in that idea in that these plushies should be reserved for my enjoyment and my enjoyment alone. Um, and that's, that's honestly a, a, a pretty sort of self-centered, narcissistic attitude to have when you think about it. Uh, and so I'm going to renege on that. I'm going to uh, give you guys a lot more content with my Garfield plushies um, because I, I think that you guys deserve to enjoy them too. And I do think that it, it's a little selfish of me um, just to keep them all to myself and not post any um, funny pictures of them or uh, any sort of, you know, um, <laughs> you know, any sort of like TikToks where they, you know, in the funny positions or scenarios or posts. Um, so that's a little, a little selfishness on my part. And I apologize for that. There will be more plushie content, uh, with my, my plushies, uh, both my, my nice thrifted one and my, my fucked up Chinese one that looks like incredibly beautiful in a really, um, sort of messed up way you know the one i'm talking about the the funky ass garfield plushie i think on amazon it was just called like orange cat plushie you know the one yeah you'll get to see those in the same way that john saw Odie. another i want to actually touch back on to the patreon thing so i am going to remove Odie's garbage bin like i said and we're going to keep it at the lowest possible uh, Patreon price. And we'll also 
credit you as a producer on the show. How about that, folks? For $3, you will be a producer of the world's best official, unofficial Garfield Basic Economics and Politics podcast. That's a pretty good deal, in my opinion. That is a pretty good deal. Let me see. I'm taking the blanket off my head real quick. Let's see how much time. Jesus Christ. I'm, suppo- I'm meant to sit here and talk for this long. It's, only, it's been like 20 minutes. Feels like it's been 10 years. I'm sweating. I'm wearing, um, I'm wearing the outfit of champions right now. I've got hiking boots on, a, a very liberally unbuttoned Hawaiian shirt, and uh, some swim trunks on. I, and no, I'm, I have not been swimming, and I am not planning to go swimming uh, anytime soon. That is just what I'm wearing. If you. If you had the chance to be invisible, would you take it? Ignore that. Ignore that. Cut that from the audio. I was, uh, I left my house and I sort of was meandering around town as I do. And I sort of noticed that. Nobody's really outside because it's so hot. And um, I'm noticing that I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm becoming a creature. Does that make sense? We are, we're going to take this all the way to the top, baby. This show is going all the way to the top. This is just a little update. Don't worry. This is not the entire direction of the show. I'm just giving you an update this week. On the direction of the show, we will have guests on, um, but this is just a little, a little thing to show uh, where we are development-wise in the show. Also, if you're good at like social media and stuff, you should like DM me and tell me how to do it. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know how to do like Twitter and Instagram and stuff. We have them. We have them and we, have, we love our followers, and, um, but I don't know how to run them. We need help with that stuff. Um, so if you want to help with that stuff, feel free. I don't care. <laughs> I got really mad the other day that this isn't the only podcast from a Texan perspective. And not only is there another podcast um from the state of texas but um there's actually multiple i wanted to sort of monopolize the texan the north texan perspective in the podcasting audio medium and um it looks like i'm a little too late to the party folks it looks like there's already people various areas there's people from houston Fort Worth, people from fucking, uh, uh, well, obviously Austin. Pre- actually, probably every single person in Austin has a podcast. So I'm not too surprised about that. But let me know if you think there's still room in this world for a podcast from a guy in the DFW area, Dallas, Fort Worth. Do you think there's still room for a guy like me? (laughs) Well, maybe we can just make it through this crazy thing we call life. In the podcasting sense, I mean. God, it's hotter than the fucking Spider-Man suit under here. Jesus Christ. You know who I saw? I saw George Santos. Did he go to jail or what happened there? I don't know. I honestly don't care. I don't think he should have to go to jail for lying. I think lying's kind of funny. I think lying's kind of funny and in some ways um sort of like a almost like sort of like a like a divine attribute of like a you know just sort of like a, a good-willed uh, god of mischief or something. That um that's something that you say when you're on mushrooms by the way. That's not a normal thought. I think that thought came to me when I was on mushrooms once. Uh but I think lying is funny and cool. And I think we all do it. I mean, what uh, he lied about his job experience. We've all done that. Which one of you isn't lying on your resume 
let you cast the first stone. We all lie on our resumes. But yeah, I mean, other than all the horrible stuff he did, like all the lying was just pretty funny, pretty cool. It was like, um, just kind of like lying your way in to some place that you really shouldn't be. <laughs> it's pretty funny, pretty relatable, actually. Um, I don't think she'd get in trouble for that. I'm thinking about going on a Zendik. I think that'll help me a lot with a lot of my problems with <laughs> um, with fitting into uh, certain articles of clothing, certain spider based articles of clothing. I think I think it's the problem isn't that it's a child sized costume. I think the problem is that I'm just becoming too big and I need to go on Ozempic. I cause yeah, I don't think that I don't think the size of the outfit is the problem. The theoretical outfit. I just zoned out and stared at my microphone for like a good two minutes. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to I'm going to go back and I'm going to listen to the audio and I'm just going to see like a huge chunk of audio where I'm not talking and I'm going to know like I was just zoned out <laughs> looking at this machine in front of this device in front of me in front of my face. I can't even see my computer through this blanket. But I can see this microphone. It's enticing. It's enthralling. I think more so this podcast could just be a result of um, sort of this microphone I bought a few years ago sort of being enchanted or well, more so of just cursed. Um, and I think I'm under this its spell. I think I've been compelled to make this program. But we're going to make this program great. Okay. Uh, it's going places, folks. Um, I need to get connected with the other people in the Garfverse. Um, and I'm going to see to it personally that we become the best. So, uh, this is going to be sort of my little intro into, um, going forward into season two. I'm hoping for good things this season. Uh, and I, I hope you'll enjoy. We'll have more guests, more fun. Um, we'll have less accusations, uh, of grabbing people, um, out of the street in, uh, superhero costumes, um, in an attempt to protect them from oncoming traffic that is, uh, quite a ways, uh, down the street, um, and would, would still take several minutes to, um, get anywhere near where they were. We're going to have less of that. Um, and we're going to have just a great time. And I hope you'll enjoy that time with me. I hope you'll enjoy that time with our guests. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check us out. I'm actually real quick before I do my ending plugs here, I'm going to make a note. So if you do want to contribute to this going forward, this project, uh, which I think is going to be amazing. You guys will not believe you must believe me. It will be amazing. Go ahead and go to patreon.com slash garphonomics. Garphonomics is spelled G-A-R-F-O-N-O-M-I-C-S. Contribute there. Become a producer. Produce the best Garfield-based podcast that's ever existed. Um, also, shout us out. Lend your support. Let's make this a good thing. Let's make this a great thing. Together. I see you. I see you, Odie. And I see your potential. I know. I know your potential. Okay, I'm dying. I'm sweating. It's hot under here. Uh, I'm going to keep this short. Hopefully I've got 30 minutes out of this. But um, yeah, welcome to season two, baby. See ya.